All right, guys. I uh, wanted to take some time to do an update video. It is uh, Tuesday, April 30th. Um, since my last update, I think I was crossing Watauga Dam that day. Uh, and that was maybe four days ago. Um, some things have changed. <laughs> uh, that day... I ran into, I kind of heard some people that I had been hiking with were ahead, and 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 I kind of pushed forward that day, did 22 miles, I think, to Iron Mountain Shelter, um, and I caught up with uh, Avocado, Rocket, Waffles, Lady, um, uh, they were hiking with with a whole kind of new, new bubble of people, and got to meet all those guys, which was cool. Um, and I was campaigning for the uh, Damascathon 2013, which basically meant to suck it up and do the 26 miles into Damascus, even though it was going to rain and everything. Um, I only ended up selling Lady on it. Um, a lot of the other guys, I know Avocado, Rocket, and Waffles, all got off at one of the road crossings after like five miles that day and got a ride into town. I know Avocado and Rocket were slack packing it yesterday when I left Damascus. Um, but yeah, Lady and I, we powered it out. It was, uh, I think we left around 5, 5.30 and pulled into town around 3. Uh, we made pretty good time. It was soaking wet the whole time, windy. It was very unpleasant conditions, but, you know, uh, just one of those little uh, uh, notches on your belt, I guess. Um, having done something like that. So yeah, Damascathon 30, 2013 was, was a success for Lady and I. Um, yeah, pulled into Damascus yesterday and um, uh, was just hanging out at the Blue Blaze, having a good time. And then kind of towards the end of the day, wasn't feeling too incredibly great or at the end of the night. Went to sleep, woke up the next morning, which was yesterday, and I had the hiker plague. Um, I'm not sure if it was norovirus, but it was definitely a stomach virus. Um, and it pretty much just laid me out for, for the whole day, which which made um, the things that I had to do a little bit more difficult. Um, and I guess I should go ahead and talk about that. Um, while I was in Hot Springs... As most of you know, I, I spent four days there and was doing some different things because um, I'm graduating from graduating from college, um, actually this Friday, so in a few days I am graduating from uh, the University of South Florida with a degree in environmental science and policy. Um, and as I've alluded to um, in these in some of the previous videos, I've previously worked with the Appalachian Trail Conservancy in a uh, natural resource management capacity. Um, so yeah, I got a call while I was in Hot Springs, I think on the second day, um, to interview for a resource management position in the New England region, um, which influenced me to hang around town a little bit. and. Um, Everybody down at the Hiker Resource Center in Hot Springs was great. They let me do the interview um, in the Resource Center there uh, via Skype uh, using their computers, which was awesome. Um, and then when I pulled into Hampton, Tennessee, maybe four, five, five days ago, um, I had a voicemail on my phone with the job offer, um, and I, you know, called them back, got some details. Um, and I liked what they had to, had, what they had to say about the position, and I liked the opportunity for pro the professional development. So I accepted the job, and uh, it's, it's a contract, or it's a seasonal job. So um, I'm still going to be able to do the through hike this year. It's just going to turn into a flip-flop. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm currently at Amicalola Falls State Park right now, <laughs> um, picking up my car. And I uh, got a few days before I have to be in Massachusetts, so I'm going to drive down to Florida and uh, walk at graduation because I know that's something that my parents really wanted 
really wanted to be part of and wanted to see. So um, the, the dates actually worked out with that, um, with graduation and the start of the job. So I'm going to drive down and I'm going to do that. And then uh, the next, having a walk, and then the next day I'm going to uh, uh, make my way up to New England. And, uh, and that's where I'll be for the next 19 weeks. Um, and then after which I'm just gonna, you know, make my way up to Maine and 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 start southbound and finish this thing out. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to fleet the cold weather south. Um, but that's that's pretty much what I got going on right now. Um, I don't know if I'll be making videos in the meantime. I'd like to make maybe make some. Uh, some uh, kind of natural resource videos. I don't know whether that'll be possible. If it is, I'll do it. Um, if not, then just stay tuned and, and I'll start pop, popping videos up probably late September. Um, I know Lady's parents in her last mail drop sent her um, sent her a setup. To, to start making videos because when you're out on trail updating your trails journals is just something that's a little difficult and and burning the battery in your phone to type at the end of the evening and and uh, things like that it just a lot of people I've noticed a lot of people that are doing trail journals they get kind of backed up and forget things and and just end up submitting submitting updates that are full of typos and things so I think she's gonna kind of piggyback the video efforts and and lady might be starting to do um, some videos and kind of pick up where I left off so to, so to speak um, so if and when she gets that done I'll I'll get the link to her to her channel and I'll I'll put it in the uh, description of this video so that uh, if anybody wants to follow lady as she goes north of Damascus um, they can. Um, trying to think anything else. I, I really got nothing right now. Um, I'm feeling better. Uh, yeah, I got laid out by that stomach bug yesterday, and um, I didn't. I, I got a ride out of Damascus at about three o'clock, and uh, just wasn't feeling good. And got to the bus station. My my bus didn't leave until like 10 o'clock, so I went across the street behind it and kind of stealth camp, pitched my tent, and napped in my tent all day in downtown Bristol, Tennessee, where I caught the bus. And that was good, and then, um, you know, rode the bus overnight and pretty much slept the whole time on there. So I think that I've pretty much recovered. Um, I can definitely eat now, which is good. So I think, you know. I've survived the hiker plague. Yeah, I thought I avoided it, but you know, just when you let your guard down is when uh, is when you spend seven hours at the Blue Blaze Blue Blaze Cafe and uh, find yourself sick seven hours later. So um, you know, all is all is good now. Um, looking forward to this drive I'm definitely glad that <laughs> glad that I'm feeling better because this is this is a bit of a drive I think it's like a seven hour drive from here to central Florida so glad that I'm feeling better I'm actually starting to get an appetite so I'll probably stop and get some food maybe upload this video if I can find a place with Wi-Fi um, yeah so look out central Florida I've I've got a three-day stopover coming um, then it's off to Massachusetts. I already found a place to stay, so don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for uh, for following me thus far. Stay tuned, definitely. Um, I I'm eager to get back on trail. It's 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 an odd feeling when you when you get back kind of into the city and you got to kind of got to pull the car key out and say, oh wow, this means that I I you know have to become. Uh, I guess a functioning member of society again rather than rather than just a through hiker who's stopping in so um, it's all it's all good I'm excited to see uh, my friends and my family um, excited to you know start my career and and uh, I hear my niece 
and nephew are going to roller skating every Tuesday. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably wrap this up and see if I can't make it home in time to to hit the skating rink and and uh, see my niece on her on her new uh, on her new roller skates that she just got. Um, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Um, keep a lookout for for Lady's channel if she ever gets that going. I'll have it in the description. And uh, yeah, good luck to all the other hikers that I was hiking with. Um, I hope that you all can make it. Oh, and uh, if I can get the time away, which I I think that I should be able to, I'll probably head head down to Damascus for trail days. I know it's a little bit of a drive, but even if I was only there for you know a day. Uh, I think it'd be worth it to, to make it back down and kind of take part in that because it's all part of the through hiking experience. Even though I've kind of added this unique little niche to my experience, to my through hike, um, I think it'd be good to, to actually, you know, experience a trail day as, as a hiker. So, uh, yeah, I um, hope everybody you know, has a good day and uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.